Hello, and welcome to my second RuneScape series, The Adventures of Lufty. In this series, I'm going to be posting updates on my progress to completionist, as I do have a final goal of maxing, as well as completing all the content in the game. As well as the progress, there will be short sketches, talks, and funny clips, which I hope differ the series from progress videos, and instead be short movies of my adventures. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the games. All kinds of games. I know people watch progress videos to see the cool drops people get, I was extremely lucky to get a visage. However, this is the only cool drop I've ever gotten, so take it all in now, because it's all you're going to get this video. But hopefully this makes up for it. Woo! 99 wood cutting. This was actually a few months ago, so really, if you didn't hear it, I'm not sure that bothered. I want a screenshot of some cool wood cutting RNG. Pretty cool! I've already completed Kandor and Hard Diaries, so getting agility levels was actually quite easy with the teleport. This is actually a clip of me doing some random quests, but I brought it up because, as you can see, I'm wearing something really weird. My fashion escape is on point, if you check out my clips. Um, just putting it out there, I'm really big into it. So, uh, yeah. More agility, fishing, AFK fishing, monks, it's always great. So I did some plowing, some farming, getting back to me roots. I did some quests where I had to get those bones for some old man, I partied with some priests. Some good, good RuneScape content, you know. More agility, agility is fun. This is actually my share out of a three way Bandos chestplate drop. Also, you can see I did the uh, Sidious in my inventory. Um, I helped a crazy man get out of his bear costume, and now we have some pest control in the background. Okay, so now we have some like cool content in the background, so now I get to talk to you, see how that works. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is Zia, and I wanted to know what you guys thought about it. So if you haven't, you should look up Gentle Tractor's Reddit post, whereby he goes over a redesign of Zia. It has recently been changed since then, and I think the mods are planning to use one of the versions of it. So that's the current standpoint on where Zaya is at the moment. I was just wondering what you guys thought of it. Like the content on the island, whether you think it should be more integrated into the mainland of RuneScape or should it just be kept separate? Should we change at all, even? That kind of thing. Now the brave Lufty started on his pest control grind. Worst thing ever, never done it before, will never do it again. Agility levels, devious minds, hazel cult. Morning's end is overhyped. Couldn't find the cat. That's all. Help the man with more bones. Did I mention I'm going for a quest scope? Quests are underrated. So my second item nine I wanted to go for was cooking. So started on that straight away. Just as a trim cook, just some agility to break it up. But yeah, nice and I was just to trim my wood cutting to be honest. 80. Got 75 crafting for the Slayer rings. And I actually got 73 mining just from trying to get enough pay dirt for the coal bag. Here's some pest control, some fletching. Fashionscape looking dope, if I say so myself. Some fire making as well. I think this is in preparation for Master Clues. I want to show you guys my fire making method that I use. Basically, I get a full inventory of whatever log I'm doing, and at the GE, if you go to the east side and start where the tiles stop, you can do two full lines using every single log in your inventory and then get perfectly aligned back at the bank. Got some construction levels, so I get room crafting XP from Tears of Gothics, and did the new monkey hunter method, which is actually really good. Always do farm runs. And we're sunscreen. Got room crafting level from finishing Kandarin Hearts, I think. Hunter levels again, construction again. Honestly, one of the worst skills to train. I don't understand how people find it fun. Room crafting, oh, that must be from hard. The other one must be from medium. Wow. 
and this guy hits a 90 on this portal. Boom! Do you see that? That was amazing. 82 defense. Another pest control whammy. Wow. He just disappeared, really. Tried out the uh, new catacombs when it came out and ends up getting 86 hit points, which is pretty good. And now the cooking grind starts. So I'm going to be trying to make these adventures around 6 minutes long, 5, 6, 7 minutes. So I'm going to end this episode here. This last clip is me leaving the Champions Arena to go collect my music cape. Currently I have enough clips for one more episode, so expect that episode next week Monday, as the schedule for this series will be every Monday I'll try to put out a new episode. But as you have seen, a lot of progress is being made each episode, so if I don't come out with a video, then just know that I am working on the next one. The next Iron Man D episode can be expected this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, most probably Saturday, so look forward to that. But for now guys, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a good day.